Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 28. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to create gradients in HTML. So go over to your text editor and right now I'm starting my index file off with just this basic template that we've always been using. Uh, there is nothing in the body. Then in main CSS, uh, this is my CSS file, there's nothing here. And so of course, if we look at this in the browser, it is blank. So what I want to do is uh, create a div. So let's start off by creating this div. I'm going to give this div a class of grad, which uh, stands for gradient. And I'm just going to save it like this. So now we have a div on our page and I'm going to leave it completely empty. And now in order to uh, make that div visible in the browser, I'm just going to give it a few, uh, a few styling rules. So I'm going to select that class of grad and I'm going to give the div a height of 300 pixels, a width of 100% and I'm going to give it a background uh, color of red. So now we have a big red div on the page and uh, what I'd like to do uh, so the only reason why so the only reason why I put these styling rules here is basically so that we can see it because if I didn't put these styling rules here we wouldn't be able to see the div, All right? Uh, so now that we can actually see it, let's go ahead and add another um, attribute which is also background, and this attribute will overwrite this attribute. Okay, so the second uh, background attribute uh, or background styling rule is gonna add our gradient. So let's type in linear gradient and I'm going to open up some parentheses and I'm going to end that off with a semicolon and inside of these parentheses we can add in a bunch of attributes. Uh, the first one would be the direction uh, and then the next ones are colors and we can have a number of colors so you don't have to only have one color you could I mean ideally you want at least two uh, but you could have you know up to uh, as many as you like I mean <laughs> it, I don't uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure if there is a limit or not but somebody would have to google that and find out leave it in the comments right I don't think you're gonna be using more than like five or six anyway uh, but yeah basically just add in a direction where you want the gradient to go if you don't add a direction it's usually gonna go from top to bottom but uh, a direction would be to right or to left, and that'll change the direction of the gradient, right? Then let's just work with two colors for now. So you can make uh, one side of your uh, div red, and then it can fade into another color, which I'm gonna just use uh, yellow, right? So let's save this now, come back to the browser and hit refresh, and you can see we've got red, fading into yellow and this is going from from left to right and that was our direction to the right uh, we can also change this to left and then what it'll do is it'll start red on the right and fade into the left um, and we can change this direction up as well so it can be to top uh, which will start at the bottom and go up or it can be uh, to bottom and of course then it starts at the uh, Ooh. Did I say two bottom? Yeah, okay, two bottom. So it starts at the top and it fades its way down into yellow at the bottom, right? So yeah, uh, that is how you change the directions of gradients and uh, how you can pick colors. So you can pick uh, red or yellow as like preset colors, but you can also use uh, RGB values like, um, I don't know, 30, 30, 30 and that's going to uh, be like a light gray. And then you can uh, in, you know, mix it. So you don't have to use uh, RGB over here. I mean, we could use, uh, what are these? Hexadecimal colors and go EF, EF, EF. Um, so it doesn't really matter how you pick your color. Like it can be a wording color, like a preset color, or it can be an RGB value, or it can be a hexadecimal value. Uh, as long as it's a color, and your gradient will work. So now we're going from like a dark gray into like a very light gray, right? 
Um, so that is how you pick your colors. And like I said, you can have a lot, uh, multiple colors, right? So let's make this fade into the right and uh, let's use a number of colors here. So uh, I'm gonna start off with red, then we can fade it into orange, and then we can fade it into yellow, then we can fade it into blue, then we can fade it into indigo, then we can fade it into violet. Um, so these are all preset colors uh, that come in CSS, and if we save this and come back over to the browser and hit refresh, hey, we have a rainbow. Uh, although I think I kind of missed green, so that should be somewhere over there, right? Uh, and if we add green in, it looks more like a rainbow. Awesome. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's how you make a rainbow with gradients. And uh, gradients can be linear, but they can also be uh, radial. So if we change this to radial, uh, and then our direction has to change because it can't be to the right or to the left anymore. But let's just use radial gradients with all these colors and see what happens. Nothing. Hmm. <laughs> uh, and I, I believe that that might be because we can't use so many colors or something. Or it might be because I spelled radial wrong. <laughs> okay, let's uh, radial. Yeah, okay, not radial. Okay, refresh, there we go. Uh, so now we've got violet, blue, green, yellow, orange, and, and red in a radial gradient. So it's a circular uh, gradient. Right, um, let's get rid of all these colors because it does look a bit confusing when there's um, a lot. And instead, let's just work with two. Uh, come on, yellow, red and yellow as our colors. Great, so now we've got red and yellow. Okay, so that's how you play around with gradients and there's a lot more stuff you can do with them. Like, in fact, if we change this back to uh, a linear gradient and we made this fade from RGBA of 0, 0, 0, 0, uh, this should give us a transparent color so we can make um, transparent or see-through color fade into an actual color. So in this case, we can make it fade from transparent into, let's try red, just because that's probably gonna be the easiest to see. And now uh, we've got it transparent at the top and it sort of slowly fades into red as it goes. Uh, so if we make that go to the right as well, uh, maybe we can see that a little bit more clearly, but it's, it's like almost completely clear here and then it fades into red as we get to the end. And uh, there are a number of different things you can do with this, so, um, uh, like I said, you can use a lot of different colors. You can use radial gradients or, or, or linear gradients. You can even adjust where the uh, gradient starts and ends if it repeats. And all of that kind of stuff is gonna be a little bit uh, extra because you add percentage values into here. And if you're interested in learning how to do that, basically, uh, you know, just go ahead and check out Google um, <laughs> and uh, I'll see you guys next time. I just wanna send a shout out to my sponsors at Dev Mountain. They run a coding bootcamp with courses on iOS development, UX design, and web development, and they'll teach you everything you need to know to get a job within this field, and they'll do it within 12 weeks. So check out their website, the link is in the description below, and if you do contact them, make sure to tell them that I sent you. Special thanks to the guys whose names are on screen now. These guys contribute $5 or more on Patreon, and I really appreciate that. Uh, while you're still here, there are a few other things that you can do to help out. So follow me on social media and check out some more of my content and I'll see you guys next time.